OpenAI is launching an open source model. And I am laughing because that is not what they have historically been known for. Even though OpenAI is in the name and they started out being a nonprofit with dreams of empowering the world through AI, they are now the most valuable or one of the most valuable privately held companies in the world. I think SpaceX still takes the cake there, but they're worth like $300 billion as of a funding round that closed yesterday. That's kind of a lot of money for a nonprofit. And they have been making that money off of closed source models. Let's just not pretend otherwise. They have O1 Pro, they have O3 behind Deep Reasoning, making money without releasing the open source, which they can do. It's not what they set out to do, but it's certainly a strategy. Well, DeepSeek put a lot of pressure on the ecosystem. It put pressure on pricing down. It's part of why deep research is available from OpenAI on the free plan. It's part of why OpenAI rushed ChatGPT 4.0 downstream to the free plan as quickly as they did, caused an outage today, which was fun for everybody to deal with. Uh, but people are excited about the image generation. It's part of what's sort of driving further engagement in open AI. Sam, I think, was saying they had another million signups in an hour in, in the last 24 hours. Great. So, so good. Uh, when you're really big, it turns out that you can win more easily. So why open source? Why come back to that? Because at the end of the day, if you want to anchor the ecosystem, you have to have something that people trust that is not just for your profit. DeepSeek helped to reformat the ecosystem that had been built around Meta's Llama model by just open sourcing DeepSeek. Similarly, Anthropic, which is super developer friendly, has they have not open sourced their model. I don't want to pretend they have, but they have built model context protocol, which enables other models to plug in. And they've built it so clearly with such excellent documentation that it's rapidly becoming the standard way to add arms and legs to an AI, to make an AI, AI more agentic, to build in additional connections for data or tools or other things. And they did that because model context protocol doesn't make money for Anthropic. They did it because they wanted to build trust. They wanted to actually show that they were adding value to the developer community. I think that motivation is some of what is driving OpenAI here, but I do not know that it will be successful. In fact, I would guess not. I think the ship has sailed. People have seen what OpenAI is really in the business of doing, which is making money and acquiring a vast user base, arguably trying to position themselves as the apple of AI, which, by the way, if you work with the actual designer of the iPhone for your rumored physical device, that would make sense. They're working with Joni Ive for a rumored physical device for next year. So that's their play. Apple is also not known for open sourcing lots and lots of things. But I don't think you can straddle the fence. I don't think you can do that and then successfully open source your model and say, this is a great open source model and expect to see the ecosystem. I appreciate the desire to be generous. I appreciate, I'm sure there's a lot of good work by the team and individuals on that team to make that model ready and get it into market. Deep respect for that. I'm sure it will be a good model. I'm sure it will be a strong reasoning model. I don't know that that will be enough to shift the focus of the ecosystem toward open AI as a basis for open source models. My guess, is that the pull of Llama, the pull of DeepSeek, the pull of uh, truly open source models from the ground up is going to win because OpenAI will not necessarily be instinctively trusted to maintain this model, to keep it up to date, to continue to release new high quality open source models, to develop the ecosystem, all the things that make it compelling for a developer to invest their time in a particular stack. And so, we will see. The model's not out yet. I am willing to have my mind changed. Maybe they will release what is effectively open sourced O3, but I highly doubt it because all of their corporate incentives are to keep the best stuff inside the house. So I don't think it's going to be that good. I think it will be roughly on par with other open sourced models for now. 
and I think it will not get super widespread adoption as a result. One of the things that we are starting to see in the AI revolution is the product surface really matters. If you look at who is actually winning in terms of adoption and usage, you see it tied to product surface a lot. Part of why ChatGPT is dominant isn't because it is an incredible model. It is because the product surface is widely adopted and ChatGPT got an early edge, lots of people got it on their phones, etc. Similarly with Claude and coding, Claude is in a symbiotic relationship with Cursor and Claude was known as a good coding tool before Cursor. Cursor adopted Claude. Cursor grew because developers easily could access Claude through Cursor. Cursor is now growing on its own as an AI-assisted development tool, driving more growth for Claude. And it's this positive flywheel that is basically driving Anthropic's product adoption curve. It means that whatever model the Anthropic team decides to release next, they can be confident it's going to be a hit with developers. Not even necessarily because it's amazing at coding, although given their track record, I think they're going to continue to invest there, but because they have the product surface to win. And they've invested in the product surface to win with model context protocol and open source. Meta has invested in open source to win long-term with Llama, although they haven't made a lot of moves lately. DeepSeek has invested in open source. OpenAI has not, despite the name. They just, they just haven't. And so given that product surface difference, color me skeptical. I don't think just announcing an open source model and saying, hey, you know, on a Reddit AMA, you got it wrong. We leaned too far over into being for profit and being worth $300 billion. Maybe we should wind it back. It's a little bit of a binary pendulum, like either the pendulum is over here on being one of the most valuable private traded companies in history, which is where OpenAI is, or it's over here and you're actually focused deeply on open source and you're investing in it for other reasons. Like I have no illusions. DeepSeek wants to grab market share. I don't think they're just in it as a nonprofit. I have no illusions about Meta. Meta wants to build a foundational ecosystem they can draw talent from that acts as a foothold for them to drive dominance of AI long term. They don't need to monetize directly because, frankly, they can monetize the AI through their social feeds. So these open source plays are not entirely altruistic, right? Similarly with, with Claude, like founding model context protocol, they wanted to be an anchor in the ecosystem, but they did it really well. They did it deliberately. They did it in line with their product strategy. Ditto for Meta. Ditto for DeepSeek, not for OpenAI. And that is why I do not think that OpenAI is going to ultimately succeed with their new model. I think in three months, five months, six months, it's going to be an also ran. And that isn't necessarily because it's a bad model. It's probably a great model. It's probably a fine model, probably on par. doesn't matter. It's all about product.